you have the black hole at the center, and then the simulation goes in size to about three light years in each direction. Um, there's about 25 uh, stars that are uh, quite interesting in my opinion. They're massive stars. Um, they're actually so bright that they're blowing off their outer layers, and that's material that some of which will eventually feed the black hole. Um, so we, we took a snapshot of that simulation and we put it into VR. So now with controllers, you can either walk around to explore the simulation or you can point in one direction and you, you travel. Um, and you're, you're seeing where the, the stellar winds are and where the x-rays are. Um, the x-rays are actually what is detected by um, one of the, the NASA X-ray telescopes, Chandra. That's what we compare the models to. Um, and lots of the infrared data that went into the models from the telescopes here in, in Chile. Básicamente, nuestra investigación consiste en cómo llevar datos astronómicos a una simulación en realidad virtual. Todos quedan sorprendidos porque es una forma muy diferente de ver las cosas. Cuando uno las ve en una pantalla, uno lo tiene en 2D y está en la pantalla nomás. Mientras que ahora con la realidad virtual es como si en verdad estuviera ahí. Porque uno puede caminar, es como una, una exploración de verdad. 